Hi, <clears throat> this is Trey Passer, as promised, in my vlog, um, I watched Hell in High Water, it's a movie starring Ben Foster, Chris Pine, Jeff Bridges. Uh, this is basically the story of uh, two brothers, uh, Chris Pine, his character, Toby Howard. He's a uh, ex-old worker who's about to lose his ranch, or his family's ranch. He needs $43,000, and he teams up with his recently released from prison brother, Tanner, played by Ben Foster, and they set about, they need about $43,000, and they set about robbing these Texas Midland banks, but he comes up with a plan to do it, uh, Toby, his character, he just, they decide to rob just enough money, not enough <laughs> to alert the FBI, but just, you know, enough money, they, 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 he basically plans on robbing just a bunch of branches on Texas Midland banks because they're the ones that hold the mortgage, the reverse mortgage on his family's land, and they just need forty-three thousand dollars to secure that land because he recently discovered oil on it, and he wants to leave it to his sons. So he comes up with this scheme with his brother to rob these banks and just rob just enough, just take the the loose cash, not don't take any of the die packs or anything like that. So that's what they set about doing, and of course, uh, the older brother, uh, played by Ben Foster, he's a a wild card. He's a little wild and stuff, and he, you know he takes chances and stuff. Of course, which drives his brother Toby crazy because he's just trying to do enough just to get the money so he can pay off the reverse mortgage and leave this. Since he basically doesn't care if they get caught at the end of it, or he just wants to make sure that he gets enough money that he can secure the land, you know, secure the farm and buy it back from the bank. And of course, they're robbing the bank that holds the mortgage, which is, I guess, the irony of the, the whole situation. And of course, after a while, after these series of robberies, uh, a Texas Ranger who's about to retire, uh, Marcus Hamilton, played by Jeff Bridges, he gets onto the trail. He gets, you know, he gets the the case, and he sets about, you know, trying to discover, you know, who's doing this and try, basically trying to catch him. And this is a uh, a really well acted movie. Um, it's basically about you know, they try to show you basically how all the, how all these farmers are basically being, they kind of try to tell you that all these, you know, these just poor working steps that are getting basically, you know, at the mercy of these banks and, you know, and they have basically no choice to, but to do this, uh, which I, you know, yeah, I don't kind of agree with that, but it's a well acted movie and, uh, and the story is well, you know, told very well and Jeff Bridges provides a lot of the, the humor in it because he has a partner, an American Indian partner, who he kind of busts his balls all the time where they're, you know, looking for clues and stuff to find the, the two robbers in. But I like the, the chemistry between uh, Ben Foster and Chris Pine, his brothers. Again, like I said, Ben Foster's character, who's the older brother, just, you know, released from prison and stuff. He's the wild card. He's, you know, he loves to drive fast and take chances where, you know, Chris Pine's character is just, you know, he's planning, he had this all planned out and want to do it methodically. He doesn't want to take chances, doesn't want to hurt anybody. He just wants to get enough money to pay off this mortgage and leaves it to his sons and his ex-wife. And it's a really well-acted movie. It's uh, a little slow at times, but it's uh, well-acted and very well done, in my opinion. Again, Ben Foster, I can watch him read the phone book. Ben Foster's just a, he's, especially since he was a, I thought he was just an annoying child actor, but as an adult, he's just, just really, and I, he should win an Academy Award one day, Ben Foster. He's just that good an actor to me, in my opinion. And Chris Pine, He's just really good too as the brother. He's you know he's reserved and quiet, and he's just trying to do you know trying to you know do this one last thing. And of course, Jeff Bridges I think is hilarious in this. Like, you know, like I said, he's he's you know he he tries to play slow and dumb, and he's about to retire, but he's smart as a whip, and he provides a lot of the humor in this. And it's it's really and of course another character in the movie is Texas itself. It just really shows you a lot of the landscapes in Texas and stuff, and how dry everything is and now things are desolate and yet beautiful at the same time and it's a it's a really interesting watch and uh i think one of the better movies that came out last year so overall i'm gonna give uh, hell or high water a 
7.8. I thought it was a really good movie, definitely worth watching and definitely uh, worth checking out. Okay. Anyway, let me know what you think of Hell or High Water. If you've seen it, what do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. If you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.